It has often been referred to as a paradise. The valley of Kashmir with its verdant hills and flaming chinars has inspired poets and artists for millennia. It is also home to the most prized crafts that represent age-old legacies. Hi, I'm Archana Nair. Join us on a trail of discovery as we bring you the finest crafts of Kashmir. Srinagar is breathtakingly beautiful. With its famous Dal Lake and the iconic Khanka, the Shahe Hamdan. This is dedicated to Sufi saint Mir Sayyid Ali Hamdani, who came and settled in Srinagar in the 14th century. Legend is that he brought with him a range of fine artisans from Persia and Central Asia who went on to create the most beautiful arts inspired by the land and what they saw. It's in the bylanes of the city that you will find the treasures Kashmir is so well known for. This is the workshop where the famous Kashmiri embroidery, also known as Kashida, is done to make beautiful cushion covers and rugs. This type of needlework is distinguished by its use of a single long stitch through which complex designs are made. Deft embroiderers make whole patterns using basic stitches. The result is an exquisite array. The motifs used in these carpets are inspired by nature. Popular designs like a classic chinar or maple leaves, trees, flowers, birds, animals and lotus blooms. My passion was that I had a craft, a heritage, which I learned from the skills and which I learned in my mind, how can I improve their craft or how can I grow them forward? This is my passion. Now, we have to make it full of the scale. Now, we have to modernize it. We have to make it a little bit more modern. It has changed a little bit. And we choose the colors. It is also our flora, the local flora. If we have our marigold flower, we have to scale it. We have to make it a partition. We have to make it a partition. We have to make it a partition. तो उसको हमने दिखाया उसके कुछ पैटर्न्स हमने खाले दिखाए तो वो चेंज हो गया। Go anywhere in Srinagar and you will find these shops filled with copperware. Locals use this for everyday use, but even these otherwise mundane objects have lovely work on them. Copper has been locally mined from the medieval times, and it was a great source of wealth for the sultans of the region. Today, copperwares are found in most households of Kashmir in the form of traditional kitchen utilities, samovars and decorative trays. Though most of the products are consumed locally, few products like the surahis, flower vases and calligraphic plates are exported or are purchased by tourists as souvenirs and gifts. In workshops like this, you can see a range of copper products being beaten, sculpted and engraved. Kashmir is a special thing, because when I was in my childhood, I saw that whatever was in our house was Kashmiri. I mean, the same thing was used in the same way. I mean, our food, our food, everything was in the same way. So, I was connected to this work, and our traditional work is still going on today, alhamdulillah, it's still going on today. तो इसलिए ये इसका वैल्यू बहुत ज़्यादा है कश्मीर के अंदर। अभी लोगों में ये जागृति आ गई बाहर के जो लोग हैं तो वो भी पसंद करते हैं इन सब चीजों के और हमने इसमें से कुछ इनोवेशन लाई है, कुछ नई चीजें बनाई, जैसे डेकोरेटिव आइटम, फूल वगैरह कुछ, ताकि वो बाहर के जो परिश्रम यह in Srinagar, you will find houses with fine wood carvings. Even the Shahe Hamdan has a panel of beautiful wood carvings that show just how old and evolved this art is here in Srinagar. Home to the finest walnuts, it's not surprising that much of the woodwork here in Kashmir is done on walnut wood. This wood is hard and durable, and its close grain and even texture allow fine and detailed work. Common motifs 
found in carvings here include florals and vines of grapes. Of course, chinar leaves are a great favorite. Yeah, hardwood is very good. It has more carving and look. It has more tail. It has many things. I mean, the walnut is not in any other tree. I mean, the amount of use it has. When we do the carving, the carving is more good. The amount of work we want to do with the carving, it can be done. In any other tree, it can be done with the walnut. It is late in the evening, and in this artisan's home, Fine pashmina is being woven in the loom. This fawn-coloured woolen weave is perhaps the greatest advertisement for the fine craftsmanship of Kashmir. Few people realise that the pashmina wool that is used for the famous Kashmiri shawls comes from Ladakh. But it is a testimony to the craftsmanship of the weavers here in Srinagar that this has been woven here for hundreds of years. Did you know that the earliest reference to the pashmina comes from the Chinese pilgrim Hyun Sang, who travelled to India in 631 CE and stayed in Kashmir for almost two years. While the pashmina was woven in Kashmir as a craft by the locals for long, it is with the Mughals that it really became famous. Mughal Emperor Akbar is said to have given fine pashminas to his most cherished guests and ministers. It is around this time that layers of fine embroidery were added to make it even richer. The Sozni embroidery is a popular embellishment added to pashminas and ferns or loose tunics that locals wear. Go through the streets of old Srinagar and you will find that every house has a weaver, artist or craftsman working on exquisite creations, but life has been challenging here. The turmoil has hit enterprise and organizations like Commitment to Kashmir, who have been working closely with the artisans to help them. Through Zainab by C2K and Commitment to Kashmir, we have been able to support uh, almost all the craft forms. We work with actually directly, we have supported about 37 uh, craft, master crafts people or micro enterprises or craft based enterprises as you can call them because our main model is to promote entrepreneurship in the craft space and through them we have supported about 1500 artisans. What makes it vibrant is actually just the region, the flora, the fauna, the environment, there is beauty all around. You know, everywhere you look, whether you look at a tree, you look at a petal, you look at a leaf, you look at everywhere around you, the water, the sky, the mountains, everything inspires the craftsperson. Commitment to Kashmir has been working with leading designers to contemporize the traditional crafts of Kashmir and create unique products. You can find a whole range of its products on People Tree under the Zaina collection. These include a range of Ari or chain stitch carpet in lovely pop-up colours inspired by the valley. We also have a range of tableware that combine the traditional arts of copperware with woodwork. The result is a collectible that is handy and beautiful. Also find a range of exquisite pashminas made with what is considered the finest wool in the world. They are as light as they are warm.